The Escambia Utility Assistance Program was created to assist elderly, disabled, or other individuals on lower fixed incomes who suddenly face a high utility bill they cannot pay. Here to share more about this program and how it helps those in need is Jim Roberts, Public Information Officer from the Emerald Coast Utilities Authority. Good morning, Jim. Good morning. We're already causing trouble. Uh, you know, it's these sets sometimes. I know, right? Don't, darn if you do and <laughs> darn if you don't. I, I mean. know. But seriously, I'm really in awe of your background, and we always like to ask this question first, but I want to know a little bit about you okay. and how you ended up at ECUA, and you told me a little bit about this earlier, and now I'm a little sweaty and nervous uh, because be, I know it, what it, your background is. You're one of me, and, and <laughs> we're all together and doing this thing we call television, right? but uh, you know, I have done it for about four decades, actually. I was uh, instrumental in launching the Fox Television Network in Los Angeles. I, um, uh, there was Fox Sports I, I launched, but I was a senior anchor at CNN for nine and a half years. Now, how does that make sense? You, you were an anchor at CNN and you well, started Fox. I'm confused. I have, I have I an actually, identity crisis. I actually have won the Edward R. Murrow Journalism Award three That's times. That's incredible. So I've won uh, two regionals and a national. Yeah. So uh, journalism is my background. Right. And that's what I really uh, kind of made the segue mm -hmm. from doing television hosting um, as talent uh, to public relations. And that's what I do now at ECUA. What a great segue that was. Yeah. But, uh, you know, that's, it's all about <laughs> communications, telling right. a great Absolutely. story, and we've got a great story to tell. Absolutely. And I want to get right into that story. Good. Good. So you're here to talk about the Escambia Utility Assistance Program, which is really neat. And to be honest with you, I didn't know existed. Yeah, it's uh, between ECUA and uh, the city of Pensacola. And what we do is we kind of target three different um, categories. And we, it's like the elderly, the disabled, and then the crisis victims, mm -hmm. 62 years and older are qualified to do this if they're in a low income or a, kind of a financially struggling situation. Mm -hmm. Well, this is who it applies to, uh, of course, uh, with the disabled. If somebody has an emergency type right. of situation, applies to that as well. And then you have the crisis victims in terms of like uh, if they find themselves in a financial crisis, um, somebody loses their job and they just cannot pay sure. certain bills. So that's where the EUAP program really contributes. But it starts with the contributions from our customers. That's where it all comes sure. from. Uh, it's a voluntary situation, whereas uh, a dollar, they can be as small as a dollar a month, and it's automatically extracted from their bill. So it's very uh, transparent, if sure. you will. That, so that's not, you're not opting in for it, it's just, it's already coming yeah, out of your... Absolutely, okay. and, and, and it's a... You I can, noticed my, my bill was one dollar. There you go, thank you so gym. much, thank you so much. <laughs> but you can actually... Uh, stop and start any time sure. you like. No, absolutely. I think that's a great program. It's been Glad going it's on happening. since 1988. Wow. So um, uh, we're very excited about it. But over the years, and I want to, and thanks to Mr. Clark, uh, John Clark, for inviting me to be a part of this because, you know, we had um, uh, a nice little sit-down session. I'm with him on the board for the mm -hmm. Partnership for a Healthy Community. And we were talking about, you know, fundraising and, and how we can help the elderly and sure. how we can help people that really are in need. And that's what this is all about. Sure. And so what we want to do is just encourage your audience your, that's watching this program today that might be ECUA customers, that they can contribute to this really worthy program. Over the years, unfortunately, we've seen a, really a steady decline in the program. And it started uh, back in, I would say, like 2004. Mm -hmm. You know, times were tough back right. back in those times. Ivan, we were going through yes. everything. The people of this community had greater needs. Sure. And not to say that this isn't a great need. It is a good need. But there were um, just lifestyle occurrences happening that uh, wasn't on the top of the list mm -hmm. in terms of contribution. But uh, we're now starting to see a rebound. And we just like to always like to remind people it's available. Well, question though, how, I guess I'm trying to make the connection when it comes out of your pay, or not your paycheck. It's not, out of your you're, bill. You're not getting, right. Out of your um, bill. How, when it's automatic, how are people, I guess, just aware that they can opt out? Is that why the, the, the contributions were lower? Or how is Pri that happening? Prioritizing uh, wants sure. and, and needs. Sure. You know, um, like I said, this was not on the top of the pecking pole. Right. And uh, but we're seeing a recovery. Good. You know, because the uh, kind of based on the economy, 
the economy, we're seeing a recovery in the economy. People are having uh, more expendable incomes to be able to do that. And so um, the program needs a resurgence. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm here in terms of the public relation aspect of ECUA, uh, just to create the awareness aspect that our customers can contribute to this program. Now, is this a vetted process before you're actually designating this funds to fo these funds to folks? Is it, did they go through a process, an application process to receive that funding? Yes. Are they vetted? Yes. There's accountability and those kinds of things. It's a great question. Um, and the way that they can do this, if, if they're interested and they'd like to get more information or they would like to participate, they can call our customer service line. For set, may I give the number? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, 476-0480. And um, our customer service reps will be able to walk them through it, or they can go to our website. I'll give that address as well, if you don't mind. It's www.ecua.fl.gov, and go to the menu, and it, and it will say EUAP program. Gotcha. And just click on that, and you can actually fill out the proper forms online. Gotcha. So how much are you generally giving out in a year? It varies. And, you know, I, I, it, and that's a hard question. Sure. I know we talked about that earlier, um, but it varies. So I really don't have a definitive answer for you uh, because it's all based on those contributions coming in. Well, and why is there such a need in our community for utility assistance? Scambia County is a very poor county. Sure. It's probably one of the poorest counties in the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. And that's not something very... Uh, nice to talk about, but it's the truth. And I think in recent years it was named second poorest county at some yeah. point. It's so there is a need. Sure. And, and uh, of course, as the boomers get older and we tend to get, remember, the age for this program in terms of being able to participate, 62 and over. Mm -hmm. So once you see a lot of the boomers moving into that 62 and over age, you're seeing a more of a need. Uh, for this type of assistance. Mm -hmm. So that's where that's coming from. Poorness in terms of psychographics, demographics in the community, mm -hmm. um, but the overall economic need for assistance. Absolutely, and this program is phenomenal, and I'm so glad that we've had an opportunity to share this with our viewers because well, I think... I think them maybe being aware of it now and maybe not before right. is going to make a huge difference. Well, it's wonderful that you're providing this service uh, because it's it's really welcomed and we appreciate you doing this. Well, you know, thanks so much, Jim, for coming on the it's show. It's all my Tell pleasure. Us all about this, and um, we're going to wrap it up. But your phone number and address again? Area code 850-969-3348. That's a direct number, so you okay, don't have to go great. to the switchboard. That's directly into my office. Um, you can get me at my email address, if you don't mind. Sure. It's Jim, very easy, jim.roberts at ecua.fl.gov. You can contact me that way. And, uh, again, our website's ecua.fl.gov, and just, you know, take a look at the program. Perfect. And if it's something you can do, we'd love to have you to participate. Awesome. Thank you so much for the information, Jim. My pleasure. Jim. My pleasure. Appreciate you so much.